Hey guys, happy Friday, and we're working on uh, something we, similar we did last week, we're building on it. We did single arm presses. This time we're gonna do what's called a Z press, which means that we are sitting on the ground with our feet out in front of us, all right? So from here, it's gonna be 10 on each side, eight on each side, six and four, okay? Just getting that good lockout, all right? And then we're gonna superset that with some strict muscle up work. So this is challenging. There's something called a false grip Okay, where uh, when I teach this to people, I have them start actually in the top position, okay, feet right under the hips, all right? This is just to learn the, the strict muscle up. So from here, if you can, look, I'm in the bottom of a dip. I put my feet out in front of me a little bit, so I'll feel a little weight in my shoulders. And then as I lean back, I'm gonna keep my elbows as close to my body as I can, and up here, okay? Then I extend all the way down, and then pull, and then rotate back to where I started. So this ring position, we call this the transition. Think about your thumb is basically tracing around your chest or around your pec. Okay, so when I start here, I drop my elbows to come in and my thumbs stay really close. So as you try to pull up, thumbs come to the body first and then you lean forward into that position. If you can do a dip out of that, that's even better. Okay, but I really want you to focus on on this position, okay? So, again, feel that weight, elbows come in, extend, pull, through, okay? We're gonna do three to five reps of those if you're just learning, take your time, challenge yourself with the angle. Um, as you get better, you can try doing ring pull-ups on the high rings where you have that false grip position and then try to pull your hands to your chest and do again three to five reps on the rings um, for those that don't have a strict muscle up. For those that uh, are close to a strict muscle up, you can have someone kind of spot you through your feet and kind of help you with that uh, to do three reps per round. So that's our super set for our strength. Let's talk about our conditioning. All right guys, we have a tough conditioning today to do as prescribed. You're gonna have a three minute window to run 400 meters, do 15 unbroken toes to bar, and then with the remaining time, your score is how many kipping handstand push-ups you can do, right? This means you gotta run fast, you gotta be able to do 15 unbroken toes to bar, which is challenging, and then have enough time to get some points on the, the kipping handstand push-up. So, recommendations for this are to reduce one or both of the length of the run and the number of reps or variation of the toes to bar, all right? You're not gonna have a lot of time, all right? So, again, if running isn't your thing, reduce this down to you know, a 300 or a 200 meter run, okay? From there, we got the 15 unbroken toes to bar. So again, if you want, if 15 is impossible for you, do 10, okay? You can also do knee raises if you need as well. So again, we're looking for that good connecting movement, okay? If that's hard for you, do some knee raises. Work again on that unbroken 15 to 10 reps, depending on what you're doing, okay? And then from there, we go into the kipping handstand push-ups. I'll give you the most simple option. If you do not have kipping handstand push-ups, just get some dumbbells and do push press. You can max out with your regular push-ups if you want, okay? The kipping handstand push-ups, remember, are gonna start in the top of a handstand. You lower down, hips to the wall, load the, the legs and hips, drive back up, and you're gonna be moving through those. So again, a lot of scaling required for this tough workout. Make sure you're getting some reps and points each round. Three rounds through this, you'll have one minute rest in between your rounds, all right? So let's have fun with that, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. We got two fun movements for the finisher today. Uh, the first one is a 60 second gun hold with dumbbells. Here's what it looks like. Holding your arm at 90 degrees and just isometric hold for 60 seconds, all right? From there, we're gonna go to diamond push-ups, okay? So diamond push-up means that we're gonna make a diamond with our hands. We still wanna make sure we get a good range of motion. So chest should touch the bottom and get a good lockout. If you need to, go to your knees for this. That's great. Just make sure you get full range of motion, all right? Um, or you can use a band around your hips as well. But that's our finisher, guys. See you tomorrow.